It's time, time to open up the throttle just a little bit in training, all right? So we're gonna go out for a three mile warm up, a three mile threshold run, and then a 14 mile long run all combined together. And uh, I'm I bumped up the long run distance a little bit today. Remember flexibility and training based on a, a bunch of different factors, how your body's feeling, uh, also the weather. So there's a blizzard, they're saying a blizzard is arriving in Denver uh, when you're watching this today. Uh, so we'll see how much snow we actually get, but therefore I want to get a little more mileage in today versus Wednesday when you're watching this because supposedly there's a big blizzard coming. And so yeah, that is the game plan. Uh, and basically I'm bumping my threshold runs uh, a week later in the training block because the race was canceled on Saturday. I'm just refining things a little bit, changing things up because I'm hoping now to do uh, that 5K, 10K, 10 miler progression of sharpening races that we talked about yesterday leading up to Cleveland. And speaking of Cleveland, I am the Holden to know running shoe. Who knows, maybe the Audios 4 is gonna be in the mix for a possible uh, shoe to race in at the Cleveland Marathon. I am, I'm open to it, because guess what? The Audios lineup, as I mentioned two weeks ago, has more marathon world records than any other running shoe lineup that I know of. If I'm wrong, let me know, but that I know of in the last 15 to 20 years. Now, of course, as we uh, as we know, it comes down to the athletes. The athletes move the shoe. It's not just the shoe. Uh, things might be changing now in 2019 and 2020 with the uh, with the uh, implementation of the carbon fiber plate into many running shoes moving forward. But at this point, the Audios 4 has been uh, uh, just a, a world record killer when it comes to the marathon distance. So I'm excited today to put this guy through the, the first impression, come back at 3 p.m. to get my first 3 p.m. mountain time, my time, for my first impression of the Adidas Audi Zero Audios 4. I'll break it down for you, let you know how it how, what the ride felt like, because I'm going to put 20 miles into it today, and also let you know uh, the some of the specs with the drop, the upper, all that good stuff. So, oh uh, man, all right, let's lace up, get going, three mile warm up, three mile threshold, 14 mile long run. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, keyword, throttle. That's right, opening up the throttle a little bit today. Gonna talk about the effort, what it felt like, and then adding on the uh, 13 mile, 14 miles after the uh, three mile hard effort. So, okay, oh man, Whew, throttle. Oh, 
So we're gonna, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just about ready to complete. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're off to date night and three cheers for True Love for doing the uh, all the names in the basket. Aww, Good job. <laughs> Thank you. For the giveaway last night. That she, was such a great, invigorating, fun. Right. I, you just felt like you were part of something. All right. We're going to get food. I don't know yes. where yet, but then Tesla. <gasps> we're going to check out I some Tesla. Wait. Just just to peruse the merchandise. Let's peruse the see. merchandise. All right. Here we go. Okay. back from date night and oh tesla very interesting we're not going to talk about tesla tonight but it was intriguing to go see those cars okay here's the adidas adidas audi zero audios four what a name what a name adidas and uh this is not the vlog about my first impressions of this shoe come back at 3 p.m for that okay let's break down the run here we go 20 miles today 32 kilometers uh 630 per mile for the overall pace or four minutes per kilometer. So I did three mile warm up. Uh, probably about 7.15 pace is my guess. I didn't actually look at those splits, maybe 7.30. And then the threshold effort was mile four, five, and six. And that was 5.14, 5.18, 5.19. So an average of about 5.17 per mile approximately or 3.15 per kilometer, okay? And I wasn't sure if I could get down into the 510 range. That was not today. We'll save that for hopefully soon and maybe in two weeks from now or four weeks from now, all right? So that's, we're just gonna continue to progress forward as the, and keeping in mind, like I haven't done any speed work yet. So the breathing was, I guess we'll just jump into this now. Well, the breathing was pretty awesome today. Like the breathing was awesome, definitely whenever you're trying to go uh, approaching race pace. And that was a little faster than my threshold pace today, uh, just because I didn't race on Saturday. So I wanted to get a little bit more of a stimulus uh, in the legs and the breathing. But I must say, I wasn't, I wasn't hurting when it came to the breathing today. It was really just the turnover probably that I was, I was, I was itching for, like just trying to get the, wake those legs up a little bit. And mile 13, to 19, I was locked in. Like I just was cruising. Now the pace was about 6, 620, 625 per mile from mile 13 to mile 19. Uh, yeah, 13, that six mile segment. I just felt so controlled, in control. Like I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just cruising along, just cruising along, going down the road through Denver. So that was a good sign. And so right now, standing in the studio, I got my Ultra Torrens on. I love walking around on these Ultra Torrens. I, I don't know, they just feel so good for recovery and just walking. Anyway, just putting that out there. I, I'm, I'm in them right now and they're amazing. Okay, but my legs, they're, they, the, my legs are barking at me. Like they're telling me, okay, we worked today. That was a good effort and I can feel that um, I can feel like tonight I'm gonna have to go back inside and get a good stretch on before uh, starting the editing for this vlog. Um, and so the next threshold effort will be March 26th, so two weeks from now. And basically this week was three miles, in two weeks from now, it'll be six miles. So I'll double the distance from three to six for the threshold effort. And that's going to be exciting, interesting to watch, to see the progression and how I can uh, respond to faster paces. And then after that, then I will really, because then it'll be seven weeks to go until the marathon. Boom. It's time to start the speed work and start the, uh, the sharpening for the Cleveland marathon okay again keyword is throttle and the question of the day is not gonna it does it has nothing to do with the uh, audios floor that'll be for the second video publishing today the question of the day this is i just i was just thinking today on my run do you stay in contact or keep in touch with old running coaches if you do what's that like if you don't 
Maybe if you feel comfortable sharing why, I'll be honest, I don't. I don't. I, I, I feel a little bad about that. I, I, I feel like I could really reach out to my high school cross country coach at some point. He moved away when I was a junior, so he didn't coach me my senior year, which just broke my heart because I loved like his style and his grit and he like wasn't afraid to push us. Um, but then at CU, like Mark Wetmore, he's coaching Olympians. He's like, he's all in on the University of Colorado cross country team. And like, I'll see him at cross country and track meets and say hello. But as far as like calling him up and I know I could email him anytime and he, he would email me back, but um, I don't stay in contact with him. And that makes me a little sad, I must say. Uh, because I, I love my coaches like coaches and athletes there really can be a special bond there That's a little different than maybe you and your parents or you and uh, your teacher uh, I just think that you go through so much and especially if the athlete is all in and completely committed to the training to the program to the goals set forth for the team like there's a really special bond there that I think can last the rest of your life. So frankly, I know like at some point I'll get in better. Uh, I'll get back in contact with some of these coaches, especially now that I'm, you know, gearing up for, oh man, this, this push to the Cleveland Marathon and hopefully to bigger goals beyond that. That's it, folks. All right. Video number two on the Adidas Audi Zero Audios 4 publishing at 3 p.m. Seek beauty, work hard. And love each other. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. See you at 3 p.m.